MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Nola will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Aaron Nola coming on the pride and joy of Louisiana State University. None of his pitches rate really on a scale of 10. None of them are eights or nines, but he's solid and he throws strikes. You'll know early if he's on, Leading he'll induce a lot of ground balls. So that'll bring in Mookie here. Betts. Mookie. He'll get us started in this one Betts. under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And the first pitch of the night here is taken for ball one, and we're officially underway in Philadelphia. First pitch, 705. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. The 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Here's Corey Seager. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and low, it's a ball and a strike. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a lot on the edges. He'll make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan, Kenny Jansen is definitely consistent, and he'll reward pitchers around the knees. But on the edges right there, sometimes it's hit or miss. The one 1-2. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Seager is retired. Two down now. So next to bat will be Chris Taylor. His pass line against Aaron Nola. He's hitless in six tries. First offering on its way. He'll 
swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Swing and a little blooper to center. Segura over to his right and that will end the inning. One, two, three go the Dodgers. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Trevor Bauer will do the pitching on the road here in game one of the LCS. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, man. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. It lead things off here in the bottom Philly. half of the first. The left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Now here's the pitch. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a cold strike. It's 0-1. And the pitch. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Alec Bohm is on deck. Here's the pitch. Full count still. The next three two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with that it. Exactly. Some say it has the more bite base than base. the traditional curveball, yeah, but I think it's more of a feel Whoa. thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. That brings up Alec Bohm. Base hit into right center. That is good. The right field. Five. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Right. Oh, and one the count to Bryce Harper. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. And it's fouled away. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And with two away, let's check out that our playoff cool. bracket as we give the you a look at how these two teams Jackson. advanced out of the divisional Real round to meet go. here for the league championship.
So here's the cleanup hitter, JT Real Muto. Now the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. We are still scoreless. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. First pitch of the A.B. now. And this is taken outside for ball one. Two balls and no strikes. The count to the Dodgers center fielder. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, he started the offensive production with a bang right there. That's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground rule double. And he's basically able to stroll into second base. Here now is Will Smith. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. The 1-0. -oh. And this is low, ball two, two and one. All even now, two and two. A runner at second, nobody out. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. A swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Next up is Max Muncy. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Knuckle curve there off the outside corner, 2-0. Now Muncy with a swing and a deep drive to right. And gone up into the second deck. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. At the plate now, A.J. Pollock. As he'll take a look at ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. 
Swung on and missed. One and one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Now the one and one pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Here's a look over to first and he'll dive back in. Matt Beatty will come on now and run at first base following the injury. The batter will be Gavin Lux as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Still only one out in the inning. Two balls and no strikes. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. A strike, and it's two and one. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. Ball three now as it just misses below the zone. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So now the pitcher, Trevor Bauer. This is a textbook sacrifice situation, so let's see if that's the call. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Now batting, right fielder, Luki, Bet. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie Betts has got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Ready with the 0 and 1. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. One out away from stranding that runner on third, so the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Payoff pitch on its way. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses its ball four. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here's Corey Seeger.
first pitch on its way. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the Dodgers do strike for two, coming on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2-0 L.A. Matt Beatty will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left field, number 45. Man. Bottom of the inning Eight. now, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Go. You well, know, these next really. couple innings are really the important base for base. these guys. I know they're Three. only down by a couple, but they oh, need to get yeah. something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Yeah. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. The 1-1 one, one home. Pops this one up. Muncie trying to get there. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when that the swing exists. came through the zone. That's I have to stop. think he was looking for Easy. something off speed, and he Red just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The wind up and the 0 1. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Hit well towards the hole. Taylor's got it. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Seven. Nevertheless, the there are two seven. away now. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. His numbers against Trevor Bauer. He's gone three for eight. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. One one popped him up Smith moving to his left and that will end the inning clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark as are we back with more from game one after this. Chris Taylor, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third baseman, number three, Chris Taylor. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius is there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The 
center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Up with it, Real Muto. And he makes the throw to first. Bellinger is retired, two down now. now well, you know you made a real nice catcher. pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Into the box now, Will Smith. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Change up low, 2 and 0. Knuckle curve and a beauty 2 and 1 now. Into the windup and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Quinn is under this one. As he tucks this one away to retire the side. Dodgers down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Roman Quinn. The center fielder, Roman. And now the first pitch. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. it up and he stretches out and left but this is off his glove and the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double man that's going to look enough. like self-defense and a real quality swing but hey he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely the second those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher to the plate now Aaron Nola and now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And that's the first down. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Set. Here it comes. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. Fouled off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh. 
In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Back goes Betts at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Got a long way to go to make that running catch. And here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed. And ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Stepping in now, Alec Bohm, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And that catches the high outside corner. One and two now. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter. He's able to throw out a rookie now. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. One ball, no strikes to count. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. A runner on first with two away. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Now back. The catcher. JT. Striding in is JT Wilmuto. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First pitch on its way. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Boy, his pitch count is really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. One two pitch. Two men are on with two men out. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will get this one. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of the game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. He struck him out. And it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. I don't know who my friends, they like to pretend. Now I'm switching up my energy, my enemies.
feel like I got hundreds of them. No, no, no love for me. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. In the last at bat, that breaking ball he hit for the home run, that was one of those meatball ones. A cement mixer just kind of floated up there. I'm not so sure that they're going to go back to the breaking ball here. And if they do, better location is definitely needed. No balls in one strike. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. Matt Beatty stepping in. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. When you find yourself in an 0-2 hole against one of the best hurlers in baseball, you're basically just hoping to make contact. He's so good at putting guys away, though. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. From the belt, the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it. He's got it one away. And this throw gets away from him. Now batting, the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Next for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux worked a walk his first time up. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. When it left his bat, I now thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Into the box, Trevor Bauer. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He did his job and laid down a successful sack bunt in his first appearance. The 1-0 is swung on and missed strike one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. Here comes the one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No 
There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. To one and two now. One and two. Here it is. Here's a high pop-up. Segura is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Dodgers strand a couple. They still lead it two to one. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Phillies, the first baseman. Three. Okay. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One-oh -oh pitches his slider, swung on and missed, one and one. Now the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, there's only a one-run push to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So next to the plate for the Phils, Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. A ball and a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bellinger will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. No matter. Number two, second baseman, G. Dodora. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first, and that'll bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. As a look, now the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Beatty is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The center fielder, number 24, Roman. Quinn. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Roman Quinn. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The 1-0 is a fastball down below the knees. Hey, after the double is first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit.
Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Fourth inning of a 2-1 to one ball game. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two now away. Batting. Oh, the man, pitch. I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He Go just on. missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So here now is the pitcher, Aaron Nola, trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Hey. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to the team. Than watching the pick. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. top of the fifth and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Corey Seager infield in the overshift here now the pitch hit sharply on the ground that's through and he's got his first base hit he's one for three Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't Up execute the ball the other way. It's the not that easy. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right Daniel. into the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard, d -Row, when you've come up all the way through high school, little league, college ball, the minor leagues, and you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. Now the first pitch. Chris no Taylor pitch. is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Two runs, five hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Two and one after the foul ball there. From the belt, the pitch. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. So here's Cody Bellinger. From the stretch. One -oh. The one and zero delivery. Too much two bite on the sinker, and he's behind two and zero now. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here. But working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Two and zero count. Here it comes. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's the two and one now. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on two and zero, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Now the two one fouled away. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And now, Will Smith ripped down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Foul tip held on to behind the plate. It's strike two. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that. Nope. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Smoked on the ground, left side. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They lead it two to one. Inning, it'll be Andrew McCutcheon. And they could use a spark from him here. The left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's the first pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Too high. One and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And he fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Andrew McCutcheon is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Whoa! Blake now, Alec Bone. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. One would look like the fastball got away from him there. Ball and two strikes. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. That misses, and we're even at two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Line hard into left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Up next for Philadelphia. The right fielder. Five. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. 
Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take a look at ball one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One run on three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. On the run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fouled away. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Bauer into his motion with the payoff pitch. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Inside with the fastball and he works the base on balls. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible, but that hitter makes him work his tail off and he still loses him. Runner at first with two gone in the inning, and that brings up JT Real Muto. the belt kicks and deals some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing that misses wide one ball and one strike And there's ball two now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two out with the man at first. Two and two. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. Boy, pitch count up near 100 right now, d -Row. And this is when you try to get to a good starting pitcher. Right now, it looks like he's running on fumes. Yeah, the manager's got to get a couple people up in the bullpen. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Philly strand one. They're down 2-1. about to get started and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy ready to deal here comes the first pitch the 0 and 1 delivery now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right hander start to loosen
the 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Max Muncy goes down to become the, the first hitter. out in the sixth yeah. inning. Baby. Next up for Los Angeles, Matt Beatty flew out in his only at bat so far. And now the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. A ball and a strike. Line to the right side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter number nine, second baseman, Gavin Lux. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth, and up next will be Gavin Lux. First delivery to him. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Swings right over the top of that one, 2-1. and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, oh, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup, so if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Low-scoring game thus far, 2-1 to one here in the sixth. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Corey Knebel enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Los Angeles, number 46, Corey Knebel. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Way to go for the Phillies. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. To two and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now One gone in the inning now, and here's Didi Gregorius. Now the first pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. One out, nobody on.
A ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you no can help it. Number two. But when a hitter like Second that base, digs man. in, you'd rather be standing at first than no, driving no a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. From the stretch. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-1. Big swing at the Back knuckle curve gets two. nothing but air. 0-2 now. Segura behind on a 1-2 and two count. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Runners on first with one down. Ball two. He's set. Here's the two two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Digging in, the switch hitter, Roman Quinn. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Bellinger brings it in. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard oh, single up the middle. You yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. No Sent it back right where it came from. Aaron Hinsley will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. You like the modern style of baseball, here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. The 2-0 pitch. Two balls and a strike. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Still two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Andrew McCutcheon would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left.
On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Dodgers two and the Phillies one. Brandon Kinsler is on to pitch now from the bullpen now Phillies. to start inning number seven. Number 19, Brandon Kinsler. Edwin Rios is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start Rios. inning number seven. Now here's the first offering. Kinsler has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boyd, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Here he comes again, one, two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Real Muto is after it. He'll throw down to first, one away. One gone now in the LA seventh, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. That evens it up 1-1. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Ready on one and two. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. The 2-2 two -two is looked at and the count moves full. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Digging in will be Corey Seager. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB on its way. There's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And there he goes towards second. Pitch Whoa. inside the throw. Bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back.
The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Three and one, here it is. Now Corey with a swing and a deep drive to right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo home run for Corey Seager, and it gives the Dodgers a 3-1 to one lead. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach or go over some strategy, and all of a sudden, you throw one, and it leaves the ballpark. The third baseman, Chris Taylor. So now to the plate, Chris Taylor. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's two for three. and one count and the pitch hit hard back up the middle and that's through for this first base hit in this one the center fielder, the Cody so with a left-handed hitter waiting they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen number 52 Cody Watson Cody Bellinger at the plate now as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set with the 0 1. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. Or you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The 0 2 once more he is swung on and missed. He got him. One for the Dodgers on the solo home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's 3 to 1 LA. Joe Kelly will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Andrew McCutcheon. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. First pitch on the way as he'll take a look at ball one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, I can't imagine that's the pitch he was looking for right there. Now he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. At the plate, Alec Bone. Strike one to start the at bat. So far, two for three in this one. He 
set. Here's the 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh. Wow, that's a close pitch to take, but when you're a good hitter like this guy, to take that pitch on 0-2, you have to have a pretty good eye. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second. The right fielder, number three, Brian Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. The 1-0 home. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3-1 our score. Fouled off. The 2-1. Two, 2-2 two and two the count. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at-bat. Two and two count, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Now, Danny, we see a lot of that pitch and strikeout situations these days. What Real makes it so effective? Go. I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Stepping in now, JT Realmuto, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Two, here it is. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. And the Phillies have pulled even now with 3-3. Three, three. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. And he did right there. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. No balls and a strike to count. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bats on the run. 
He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Seven complete here tonight. We're tied now with three apiece. And now here is Will Smith. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Will. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. First pitch on its way. Some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And he misses with it, one and one. Fouled away. Here comes the one two. I know he buried that slider in right there but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside it leaks out over the plate he can get hurt with that pitch. The two two is at the knees and called strike three. Time now to give you a look at our starter comparison in this three three ball game. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. And now, Max Muncy comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First offering on its way. And this is cut on and missed below the knees, and it's 0-1. the pitch and he fouls this one off one out nobody on nope. and he misses there one and two lays off two and two now Into the windup and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Another try at 2-2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really Let's tough for these big, strong now. guys because Baby. once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Here's the first pitch to him. Matt Beatty nope. is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. Pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Ball taken there, two and one now. and two strikes now. 
He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Bases are empty here with two men out. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Even at 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Now a hard hit ball. Caught out there by Gregorius. Pretty much right in the glove that time. And the inning is over. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Victor Gonzalez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Zach McKinstry will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Here's Didi Gregorius. Here go. He's 0 for Billy. 2 thus far in this one. shortstop. Didi. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the field back for it. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And the pitch. Gene Segura is on deck. The 3 2 pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the lead off him. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Gene Segura standing in. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Ready with the 0-1. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but now it wasn't that. outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling Go balls man. and strikes is a really tough job. And even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Roman Quinn standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. One swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away. But the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. Fouled off. Slider strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers now have the ability the to strike pitcher. guys out Tell when me. they really need to, and that what second that? out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. You're a Scott Kingery will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number four, Scott Kingery. Now here's the first offering. 
deep grounder down the first baseline. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. No change in the score. It's three to three. Concentrate in my balance. Give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. Ranger Suarez will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go is the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. First pitch of the AB on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Count now a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. One and two, here it comes. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. The left the Stepping eight. in next, Zach, Zach McKinstry. McKinstry. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Ball and two strikes now. Misses. Ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. In time to first and there are two away. Next it'll be Mookie Betts. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the first pitch. Oh, Ready with the 1 0. Two out, nobody on. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Here's the one-two, and he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Dodgers down in order. Score remains tied at three to three. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. The left fielder, Andrew. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. McCutcheon. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of zone for strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 
The wind up and the 0-1. And he fouls this one off. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes now in this one. I think third that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing Whoa. appeal. Hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire. But looking at it, it's hard. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! So a solo shot here to left center field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. postseason always seems to deliver big moments and this was no exception a walk off in the final at bat ends it and there's bedlam at home plate wow It's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Philadelphia jump out to a 1-0 series lead. Ranger Suarez takes home the win. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Dodgers, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Citizens Bank Park, 43,000